<laughs> Welcome to Graphic Designer Pro. In this episode of Tool Time, we'll be looking at the Rotate tool in Adobe Illustrator. And if you want to follow along, then you can download a free template file for this lesson from the description below. Okay, I'll pass you over to our lead designer, Rory, who will show you how it works. Thanks, Ross. So jumping straight into our template file here, you can see some of the examples of what we can do using the rotate tool. So over on the right hand side, we have some objects set up. So I'm just going to go right ahead and show you how it works. So first of all, we need to make sure we have an object selected. You can find the rotate tool over on the left hand side. As you can see here, the shortcut is R on the keyboard. So nice and easy to remember. And if I just start clicking and dragging, you can see we can just easily rotate an object object without having to position our cursor in a certain way it's very simple to do this. You'll also notice that we have a small cross here in the middle. Now this is the point of rotation so we can move this around I can simply click and drag or I can snap it to an anchor point if I want to. If I click and drag now you can see it's going to rotate around that point. So I'll just press command Z for now. What I can also do is holding option or alt on my keyboard if I click that's going to bring up this pop-up box and we can actually specify an angle within here. So with my preview selected, I can adjust this value and you can see our object is changing based on that. So I'm going to change this very slightly. We'll go with say 10 degrees and you'll notice in this box, we have an option to copy this. So if I click copy, you can see it's actually duplicating our object. And what I can do from this point, which is very useful is continue to duplicate this object at that same degree of rotation. Now I can do this one of two ways. I can go up to object transform and you can see we have an option up here to transform again or even easier than that. As you can see, the shortcut is command D or control D on a PC. So if I keep pressing command D, you can see we're duplicating this object at that same degree of rotation and we can create some really interesting designs with this technique. Now this also goes for rotating objects around another object or another point. So you can see we have a star here and a circle. If I just select the star, press R on my keyboard to get my rotation tool. Again, I'm just going to go to the center of this circle and holding option or alt on a PC and click once. You can see we can bring up this box again. Now, another really useful tip if you didn't already know is I can get a precise angle depending on how many copies of an object I want to rotate around this point. So if I want to create five copies of the star rotating round, all I need to do here is enter three 360, so it's 360 degrees, do a forward slash for divided by and then five. That's going to basically set a perfect angle of rotation to create five copies going around this point of rotation. So again, if I click copy, you can see we've got a duplicate here and just employing the same technique of pressing command D, I can fill in my other stars as well. And that's it. It's a very useful tool to get used to and I'd highly recommend it for uses like these. If you want to learn more about graphic design, we've created a free one hour training where we reveal our top five secrets to creating beautiful graphic design. So make sure to sign up for the next free webinar. The link is in the description. You're not going to want to miss it. I'll see you there.